This is going to be a very, very brief uh, trig video. I mean, it should take three, four minutes to, to finish this. So let's just say I have a right triangle, right? Now, if I don't put the square thing in here, it's a right triangle. If it looks right, then it is right. So I'm not going to play tricks here. Okay. So this is A, B, and C, right? So this is A, B, and C. So now let's say I give you this side here as 5 meters. I give you this side here as uh, 12 meters, right? And we're trying to find side C, okay? So now I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem, basically. So it's going to be something like this. Um, C squared plus 5 squared equals 12 squared, right? So you square the other side. The two sides you add them up, and that should equal to the hypotenuse square, right? So now this is going to be c squared equals 144 minus 25. Then when you finish, you take the square root of whatever you get here. So that's pretty straightforward. What's not straightforward is, so now we can, we can find this. Let's say I ask you to find this angle here that I'm going to call angle C. Okay. So to find angle C, okay, it all depends on what I have. Let's just say I don't have side C. I don't want to find it in other words, right? I can do, I have, with respect to this angle, I have the adjacent and I have the hypotenuse, right? So adjacent and hypotenuse. So according to Sokatoa, I have to use ka. So I have to use cosine. So basically, cosine of this angle is 5 over 12. Now, I'm not interested in the cosine of the angle. I want the actual angle itself. So this is what you do here. You do this angle C is the inverse cosine of 5 over 12. Now, some of you are saying, well, where do I get this inverse cosine? It's, it's in your calculator. Make sure you're in degree mode. You go second cos, and you put in 5 over 12, and it should give you the angle. And it will give you the angle. Now let's say I had this side as 5 meters, and I wanted to add, find angle C. Now cosine will not cut it, because now I have the opposite and the hypotenuse. So in this case, I'll do sine, and I can do inverse sine here. So this should be pretty straightforward. Okay? See you later.